Scorpion and anaconda ointments are used for mosquito bites, colds and flu, headaches, coughs, toothaches, muscle aches and sore throats amongst others. There has however been a growing demand for these products following the outbreak of COVID-19 as they've become popular as preventative and curing measures. Many use these ointments for steaming, in some instances drink it in hot or warm water. Simon Mandume, managing member of MM Cosmetics Namibia, says his company is the only one in the country allowed to sell or distribute NTG products. By our principles, each company or each business that is copywriting our product, we give them a personal, a company principal fine. An agent from MM Cosmetics Namibia explains off camera the difference between the fake and original products. The real one, when you apply it, you feel it burns you and you feel the menthol smell. The fake one, it have, it have perfume smell and it doesn't burn you. The original one, you can steam it. It steams. You get that vapor steam. The fake one, it doesn't steam. This one have a metal here. You can see it's metal. Even if you bend it, it bends, it doesn't come back. The fake one is plastic. The plastic, you press on it, it comes back the way it was before. This one is yellow. You can see, this one is yellow. This one is yellow, reddish or orange color or something like that, you know? Even the packet, you can see, sorry. You can see the difference between this and this. And this one here, you can see the scorpion is even different. And this one here have the date of expiry on the top here. You can see this one doesn't have the date of, of expiry on the top. It have it on the bottle itself. The original bottle, it have it on the bottle itself. Everyone who was at the premises where the fake products were kept and sold was fined $7,000 by MM Cosmetics Namibia, the only rightful license holders of the original products in Namibia. Any product bearing the mental scorpion name without the official NPG trademark is infringing on the copy and trading rights of these products. It is not yet known whether these products are imported or produced locally. The public is urged to acquaint themselves on the differences between fake and original products as fake products could pose a health hazard.